Are you thinking of getting into investing? The age old question is real estate or stocks? Let's dive into which one may be better for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time on the channel, my name is Dominic. I'm a local realtor here in San Diego. Today, we're gonna to be exploring the difference between investing into real estate and stock market. Anytime you start talking to someone about investing, those are probably gonna be the two that come up the most. They both have their benefits. Both of them have their cons. Today, we're gonna to be discussing which one could be better for you in your current situation. Personally, I invest in both. So there really is no wrong. It just depends on where you're investing, what you're investing in, and and what stage of your life you're in. The thing that real estate offers is it's a tangible asset, right? It's something you actually can live in or someone lives in it. It's something physical. You have control over this investment, the potential rental income. You can decide how much it's worth by if you buy a fixer and you fix it up, it becomes worth more. And I think something that a lot of people don't take into account or they don't even know about are the tax implications that real estate has, right? Being able to depreciate the value of your home and it gives you that big tax benefit. And the great thing with stocks being the fact that it's more liquid. Real estate, you have to go through the process of selling the property, listing it, receiving offers. The thing with stocks is you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can sell, right? You're always gonna be able to liquidate your asset and cash out. The thing with stocks too is the low barrier of entry. With as little as 10 to $15, you can open up a Robinhood account and start investing into partial stocks. So now that apps like that have come out, it makes it easy for people to start getting into investing. I think the thing that people like the most about the thought of real estate is the passive income. However, what they may not think about for so the stock market is passive income as well. And you might be thinking, how am I gonna get passive income? There's a possibility that with enough money into the market and into a certain dividend paying stock, you you will now be able to produce enough passive income to supplement your lifestyle. The thing with real estate, there isn't much flexibility. With the flexibility, it's like the day you decide to sell, right, you're not gonna get your money, like in the stock market. But the thing is the control factor. Stocks are controlled by either the media, the news, the business, whatever other outlying facts, that's what your stock's value is controlled by. So any little thing like that, with real estate, you have a little bit more control. Being able to do a remodel on the property, add an ADU, all these stuff, they are gonna cost an investment going in, but the return on investment could be better. And I do have a video out on the best renovations possible for your home. In the stock market, you're largely at the mercy of the company and their performance. And if you talk to anyone about investing, they're gonna say, make sure you diversify. Diversify your money, don't put all your eggs in one basket. In real estate, diversification could look a couple different ways whether it's buying in different cities different neighborhoods or different properties in general such as single families or condos townhomes investing into land that you think at some point will be produced and even getting into commercial doing retail and or office spaces and the easiest way to invest into the stock market is investing into an ETF or just picking a couple different stocks that you think will perform good as for myself, obviously I'm not licensed to give advice on investing, but where I invest is I pick three companies that I just feel will be here in 10 to 15 years, and I slowly dollar cost average into those. One thing I will say is historically, both have gained over time. So I would just recommend starting. It's gonna be a learning process, and for me, I've been investing into the stock market for the last year now, and looking to invest into real estate by the end of this year. It's a learning process. You're making they fail, hopefully just keep your fails to the lowest possible loss. But being in the market is the big thing. Time in the market is much greater than timing the market, right? You're never really gonna be able to find the perfect time. And at some points, we look at certain years, obviously real estate crashed in 2008, the stocks crashed that year too, and the dot-com crash. So there are some crashes, but the people that really made money were the ones that kept buying on the low and saw the growth because historically, both of these sectors of investments have gained value over time. Ultimately, the best choice is the one that works best for you. So you need to weigh out what situation you're in, how much money you have to start investing, what's your risk factor, how much are you willing to be hands on. All these things should be taken into account when talking about where you should start. I personally will be investing into both and probably other avenues of investments, whether it's investing into startup companies or anything like that. The key is putting your money where it'll make more money and just being smart with 
your spending and where you're choosing to invest. Both have proven to yield great rewards over time. So it just depends on which one works best for you right now. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this was kind of a little surface level, but I wanted to make it as easy for you to start thinking about both of these sides as possible. If you have any questions, feel free to get into contact with me. You can email me, text me, call me, and I even have a link where we could set up a Zoom and meet for 30 minutes. So if you have any questions, just make sure to get into contact with me and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.